Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Savage Saturdays here on the Drinking Bros Podcast. I'm your host, Derek White. Joining me, as always, it's Owen. It's Owen. We just wanted to take a second and let you know that today's episode of Savage Saturday is sponsored by GhostBed. GhostBed's been a loyal sponsor of the Drinking Bros Podcast for over four years. Everybody loves GhostBed. I love GhostBed. I'm the proud owner of two ghost bed mattresses and two pillows and right now if you buy a mattress from ghost bed you get two free pillows and if you go to ghostbed.com slash drinking bros you can save 25 percent. that's ghostbed.com slash drinking bros grab yourself a mattress two free pillows get some good sleep enjoy the show <sighs> my god that is the smoothie of all smoothies. If you're uh, just listening, I just took the first sip of my smoothie. I used, uh, are you a smoothie guy? I am, but I'm a lazy smoothie maker. What does that mean? You don't do it often or? I just, I don't put very much effort into it. It's mostly just like the CTC and water. Do, oh, oh, that's a <laughs> shake. So when I say smoothie, so every, uh, every, Every time, every every day around this time, it's about ten o'clock. I have a smoothie. What you're drinking is a shake, yeah. but this is a smoothie, right? And it's super. It's easy, man. All you need is a blender. But to get, I got one. go ahead and get two blenders, because okay. then you can always have one clean. Yep. But it's um, it's a cup of milk, it's a banana, two tablespoons of peanut butter, okay, some frozen strawberries, and then the the thing that makes it just out of bounds, mm-hmm. stealing from Guy Fieri there, but um, it's CTC. The Formula One Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And then it makes it taste like, it's like French toast, fruity French toast. It's fucking delicious. Cause then, so it's different. Usually I use chocolate protein. Yeah, I've had I'm, yours. But I'm fat. out of chocolate protein right now. So I just use CTC. And I don't know why I don't do CTC all the time. I don't know. It might be a new thing. Yeah, but hold on. Let me get a sip. Mm. I'm ready. Um, joining us today for her fourth time. Fourth appearance. Fourth appearance. It's my wife. Hi. Stacy, Savage Stacy. Welcome back. Hi. We're, we're, we're glad to have you. We're happy Thank to have you. you. I'm so sorry. We ordered a new chair for the guests. <laughs> but because of... It's and, on the slow boat. And, and it, was in, it, was, it was in my... During my Wayfair phase. Yeah. Which I'm out of, by the way. Are you? Yeah. Have it you was moved just, on to well, another phase? No, it's just I've... Dude, it's, I, in a month I spent like... Five thousand dollars on home furnishings, and then I was great. like, "They were all great." I was buys. like, "Yeah." Is mean there's another one coming? I yeah. think because mm-hmm. yep. there's one coming. Mm-hmm. It'll be back. Well, maybe he'll just discover keep, Amazon no, but, one day. Maybe, Jesus. Mm, no, I don't think that. <laughs> uh, no, but, uh, I order everything on Amazon. He just tells me, and yeah. I just add it to the cart. Like, yeah, I get yeah. That. I I ordered stuff one time, but you have like thirteen cards linked to your account, and so I never know They're which old cards. Like, yeah, but it's like, uh, but I don't Amazon know which account. card to use. Right, Literally you know, since, I don't know. It's probably been eleven years that I've. This had is my this Amazon is what account. I'm saying about Amazon. There's already too many an overwhelming amount of options of things you can buy. But then I have an overwhelming number of cards to choose from right. of which none of them are mine or, and or that's what work. I, apparently yeah, there's just so, the one yeah. you got to find mm-hmm. it. So just it's like an Easter egg just, hunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm, 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 um, I'm pinching my pennies for a big purchase but I'm too chicken to buy it. What is it? I've been talking shit about it for a long time. <laughs> it's funny. He like needs the certain things, but he doesn't want to spend the money on the things he actually needs. I get that. Yeah. But why would he, so he's like free with his money. Right, I'll get this. I'll get that. Oh wait, but I need this need, thing. Yeah, I don't a grill, want, man. A smoker. Oh, I want a Traeger. I want one too. I want like a, but it, like the one I want is like $2,000. Yeah. Cause if you're going to spend, cause like Traegers run like eight, yeah, the cheap ones bunks. like eight hundred bucks. So if you're gonna spend that much, why not just go a little bit more and get a really nice one? And it's still not their like top of the line one, but yeah. like the fifteen hundred dollar to two thousand dollar range, you can get these ones that um you can like control the temperature from your phone and stuff uh-huh. like that. And here's the thing, I want a Traeger. I want to. I want to like smoke meat. <laughs> oh, Derek. <Yeah. laughs> Maybe I'll smoke your meat. I don't know. Come over sometime. Yeah. Come hang but, out um, with me. I probably won't even eat any of it. But I just, really? but, but like Stacy will and the boys will. Because like, meat's good. Because like, well, I love brisket, but you know me. You yep. guys know. I, I eat what I eat. Yep. 
and hey, I don't I, eat what I don't eat. I will hang and out. I, I consider brisket healthy, yep. burnt ends healthy, but it does like different. Most a big part of what I eat every day is because of how it makes me feel. Yeah. And brisket and burnt ends and different things don't make me feel the way that but you steak can grill and, still oh on yeah a trigger. I got, so yeah. we grill we yeah. we buy what like we buy in mass like walmart hamburgers like just the the frozen patties they're they're easy to throw on the grill they're not the best quality but they're they're the same say, everywhere you go don't right? say that around derek so <laughs> we have like a good enough quality hamburger that we're, we're willing to Yeah, it's like, yeah. so those things are like 60% beef, 40% yeah. recycled cardboard. Yeah, totally. And yeah. They're, they're delicious. <laughs> they're delicious. But they're our benchmark. And, and you're helping the environment. Totally. You know, like it's you're, you're reusing. It's more of a recycling you're, program. You're reusing plastic. Yeah, exactly. dude. Oh, I, I understand. We yeah. cooked one. <laughs> we used my friend's Traeger for like the first time I'd ever used one. For just a hamburger. For just hamburgers. And we used those exact same patties, yeah. which we knew taste at a certain level. Right. And we cooked them on this. Traeger and they were so much better than yeah. all the other times we cooked them. And because we had that direct comparison, I was completely sold on Traegers. Yeah. I was Do like, you have a Traeger you, now? No, not yet. Oh, no, yeah. Because you don't so, want to spend money on it. Because I totally don't want to spend money on yeah, it. But, but uh, Owen's like, oh, Owen, so we've, we, we start, Owen, uh, Owen wants to spend three thousand dollars on new video equipment for yeah. this podcast when he just spent about three thousand dollars on new video yeah, yeah. but exactly so, yeah. so it's like do you need this new equipment when you already have perfectly good equipment it w i do because it <laughs> speeds up my it speeds up I, the editing i actually am not going to criticize that too much i i agree with his purchases <laughs> your purchases derek i don't i'm not really sure i mean we can make he, a commercial about traeger's he grills easy. how many times a day at least twice, twice. Yeah. exactly yeah. a day if so there, how many times 365 times two and you're telling me that's not going to pay itself off it would yeah if, exactly. if anyone who could justify the purchase and, of a of a barbecue it'd be. i'm over here like buy it buy it buy it. it and he's like i don't know i'll Dude, think about it i think you should get it because all those burnt ends and uh briskets exactly. that you don't want to eat yeah I get well to you know what totally not like, eat. <laughs> but, but a big a big thing the bo uh the boys love that shit too oh, yeah. so it. yeah and, and 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 then if you smoke a brisket you got a big old hunk of meat. It's like making pot roast here for the kids. Oh, yeah. Super easy, and it feeds them for three days. Yep. And so if I just, like, threw out a brisket, you know, that would feed the boys for <clears throat> three days. Yeah. And Stacy likes that kind of stuff. And I, 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 I would try to make, like, smoked mac and cheese for Stacy mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Like cheese a cake smoked, I keep hearing about. A smoked lobster. Oh, Traeger? Yes. Really? It's like yeah. a smoky flavor. Like, mm -hmm. you just, like, finish it off, I think, on the Traeger. Oh, my God. I wonder if a smoked banana would be good. I think anything smoked sounds <laughs> delicious. I've heard of, like, smoked eggs. I know really? people have smoked eggs. See? Yeah. I hate eggs, but that actually sounds appealing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish I liked eggs. So you don't like eggs? For you. I hate yeah, eggs. Yeah, it's weird. Really? The smell even, like, it makes me nauseous, and it always has. Even the pasture-raised eggs that Derek eats? Even, yeah. Like <laughs> every egg. Like, really? every egg. The only kind of eggs I like are in cake. So when I started, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll eat eggs with vanilla. I'll extract. eat eggs with two cups of sugar and sprinkles. Flour. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> candles on top. Yeah, that's the only kind of eggs I like. I love eggs. I pick them out of like fried rice. I just recently stopped doing that. Fly lie. Fly lie. Fly lie. No <laughs> eggs. But yeah, no eggs. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. So when that, you're done eating fried rice, you have like a little pile of egg pieces on the eggs. side of your plate. Yes, yeah. seriously. Huh. Isn't that weird? That's yeah, and do it like it's it sucks because eggs are like super they're just good for yeah, you. They're, yeah. They're, they're just like a one stop shop for yep. every <sighs> fucking thing you need. Healthy, they're like the perfect healthy food. fats, healthy protein, omega three, and like the, the aminos. So people, so people who don't eat the yolk, they miss out on all of the good shit. Yeah. Yeah. And it's funny because people are like, "Well, it's my cholesterol." White. But yeah. if, if if eggs are high in cholesterol, what leads to high cholesterol in your body is eating so much shit processed food that cholesterol no longer moves freely through your blood vessels. <laughs> this was a, oh, not a planned yeah. thing. Yeah. No, so like, if it's oh, like, I get it. Yeah. If this is cholesterol and this yep, is your vein, that's how it you goes. Want it, yeah. <laughs> so, it makes sense now. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it's, it's, it's weird how that works. Um, before we get too far, before I forget, we got, I got a slapper. I got a slapper. And we're going to try something different. It's different. I haven't done to date. I don't think I've done any rap. And I think everything I've shared has been in English. But, dude, like, sometimes when I work out, there's some German rap yeah. that I fucking like. It's like listening to, um, Deutschland. like, yeah, like, uh, um, 
like Rammstein, mm-hmm. Ra- Ramstein, Rammstein. I don't know how to. I don't know how to say it's it as Rammstein. an. I know, but like as an American, you Rammstein. know, I hate when. Yeah, I hate when people speak in American English, like an American English accent. But then, they, but then they put one word. It's like, like hey guys, um, we're gonna go down here and get a tortilla. <laughs> like, well, that doesn't. That doesn't fuck. Just say tortilla. Just say tortilla. <laughs> tortilla. Uh, yeah. It's like, don't hey, hey, tortilla. Derek, when you make burgers, do you add onion and jalapeno? I'm like, what the fuck? Just, just stick to one accent, no, it's you know? Just the one. So it's like Ramstein, you know? News, news reporters are really yeah, good. Yeah, Ramstein. But it was like, there's some German rap that I really like. And one of the guys um, is Bushido. Okay. And he, so. That so, sounds Japanese. <sighs> anyway, keep yeah, going. I don't, yeah. So Bushido, this will be a sub slapper. Bushido, a song called Mephisto. It's really good. Okay. And the cool thing about like this German rap or, or music in other languages, you don't have a fucking clue what they're saying. It's just so the instrument. voice becomes an instrument and yep. you can just you can just vibe to it. Yep. So you're just out there feeling the vibes. Um, we're going to try. <laughs> so this is I just want like the, so this the slapper, the slapper, the artist's name is Contra K. Um, okay. And that's Contra with a K. Contra K. Okay. K-O-N-T-R-A K. Um, the song is called Erfolk ist kein Glück. There's an umlaut in the gluk, so Ooh, it's not like so it's, it's serious. Like gluk, I forget how to use that, but but any like check this out. Have you have you listened to have you dabbled with German rap too much? Um, in your garage when we'll, you're working we'll out. See, just just for you guys listening, I'll try to sample just a bit for you. Um, here we go. Hold it closer to the mic. There we go. It's okay. cool. It's fun. Yeah. I, I started doing that. I started headbanging. <laughs> like so our, our, our sons, Max and Jack, <laughs> they headbang now. Nice. But they do it. They just they stare at you for a little bit. And they do it like this. <laughs> One bang at a time. One bang yeah. at a time. But I've Singular caught myself. Bangs. I always, I, I'm a weird guy in the gym. <laughs> I don't know how I would respond to me in the gym if I wasn't me. I just kind of look. Like what if you ran into yourself? Yeah. Well, there was a, there was a, there was a guy in El Paso. Um, his name was Arthur and he would dance up and down the gym and he would jump over equipment. The older guy? He was a football player and he was just fucking high energy. Yeah. And the first two days him. and he was loud when he would finish his set. He's the guy that was like, Woo! like nice. right, right like there, the fucking nature right boy. There, yeah. Right there in the <laughs> public gym, you know, but when he was, and he would fucking bounce past you, but when he'd walk past you, he'd put his hand up and you give him a high five. He just and you're just like, I was like, you know, like the first two days I was like, man, that's, that's really a lot. But then I was like, you know what? Maybe you're the cunt here, Derek. And this guy is bringing some fucking energy to right. the gym, you know? Fire. Yeah. But I don't know if a lot of people appreciate that, but anyways, so I'm always banging my head in the gym, but yeah. now I bang my head like our sons, just right. the one. And it's like they close their eyes. Yeah. Do, you invoke, They're like a do you invoke Arthur sometimes? I remember him. Do you remember I, him? Dude, I like, fucking I'm bringing, wish, yeah. I'm bringing Arthur's I, energy. And today. you know what? Like It was cool because someone in the gym matched my energy. Yeah. But now in LVAC, it's just me like mm. dancing by myself. <laughs> oh, oh, dancing <laughs> with myself. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. So that's the slapper. Er Folk ist kein Glück. Do you have any idea what the song's about? Nope. <laughs> is it on your Spotify? Yes. So, mm. so, um, or actually we need to, um, so I, I, I made a Spotify playlist. It's called Derek's bang list. Yeah. Back in the day. It's like a mix Like tape. three years ago. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to make a new playlist and it'll just be, it'll just be called Savage Slappers. And then when we fucking share these songs, yeah. oh, that's a good we'll idea. just keep updating as we go. Yes. Yeah, that's something I'm going to do. I forget how to make a playlist. Cause you know me, right? <laughs> you know, but I think if I figured it out once, I can figure it out again. I believe in you. Google. Yeah, mm-hmm. Google. Let Google. Yeah. yeah. There's also mm-hmm. YouTube to help you out with it. I googled something last night. What was it? Oh, who owns wow. Netflix? And That's I learned a- something interesting. In 1998, Amazon almost bought Netflix, but it didn't happen. And really, like Amazon Fucked kind up. of forced Netflix to get rid of something. Netflix was this. Thing, and there was one way that they were making money and Amazon made them shut that down. Otherwise they were going to. I think Blockbuster also almost bought them. No, they totally passed on it and they yeah, said they that did. it was a stupid idea. Exactly. Yeah. And, and now, now look, now look who won yeah. that one. Stacy, Stacy, Stacy worked at Blockbuster. That was did my you? Very first how, job. Maybe, maybe that's why 
You know, h- how mad did you used to get when people brought back tapes that weren't rewound? Okay. So. <laughs> you were probably weren't that, <laughs> like, uh, yeah. that far back in no, Blockbuster. No, we did. We had tapes? VHS. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Well, I mean, we had DVDs too. But anyway, that was my first job. I personally can't work like in the food industry. Right. Just, I just can't. Because you hate eggs. Yeah, because I hate eggs. But I was like, I, I think I Here's can, your, I can, here's your yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can deal with like. Yeah, she's just taking someone's order. They're like, I'll have an eggs, Ben and Bags. She's like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, would you like fries or a hash brown? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway, so yeah. remember you, we were talking the other day about how like you could, um, I think it was like nurses or doctors can like note in someone's profile somehow yeah. that like their family could be Bad hard seeds. to deal with. And like, you know, if you're in the hospital and you're a fucking dick to your fucking nurses, they'll put that shit in your notes. So, so the person on the next shift is like, Hey, this is a fucking dick. So we did asshole, that be prepared. At mm-hmm. Blockbuster. Yeah. I can say that now because there are no black. There's not a company anymore. Anyway, yeah. If so I, you guys if are I was profiling, like, if yeah. I was checking you out or something, like checking your videos out or whatever, I could see there was like a star at the bottom of your profile or your account, and it was like this person's a bitch, and I was like, oh yeah, I can see that, and it oh, would just man. notify you beforehand. So we kept notes on you. Like, see, I, I did that mentally. My 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 um my first real job was I was uh I worked at Perkins which is sort of like a, um, an upscale Denny's up okay. in the Midwest. It's there, there's a is lot it upscale. Well, it's upscaler <laughs> than it's, or it's an upscale waffle house yeah. or it's okay. something, you That's, know, like, it's not but hard they, to they, get they, they try, but anyways, I, I, my, the one that I worked at was right by Aldrich arena, uh-huh. which is like the hockey arena where all the high schools played. <laughs> what? I'm just laughing at what she said. Is it, is it upscale? <laughs> Well, I it's, mean, it's, it's it's exactly like Denny's. It's somewhere, like, yeah. If well, yeah, people get it's drunk like, there at night. If Denny's is fun. five two, Perkins is five three. Okay, you know, yep. so like, yeah. What does that mean? Height. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I come on, Stacy, keep up. Never heard that in my life. But okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> But yeah, so we worked at our, and it was right by the hockey arena where all the high schools played at. And, and it was like Hill Murray was this hoity toity high school and their, their cheerleaders. This is where it was like, oh, yeah. it was like all the wealthy white people and they had money in their Paul. sports programs. Yeah. That's yeah. where I'm from. Yeah. Like well, new pads yeah. and stuff. Well, yeah. The Twin Cities. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> new um, pads and stuff. <laughs> What'd you say? You they had like new pads and oh, stuff. I thought you said new ads. I was like, see, they're like still, Hill Murray's putting money into ads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. But I, I would, I would know. I would know the schools. Their cheerleaders would come in afterwards, right? And they'd all get like French toast and shit. And I'm not gonna tell you what we Hockey did. Hockey cheerleaders. Bougie, oh yeah, bougie mm-hmm. little bitches. Yeah. Oh. No, that's why I laugh. So like the Golden Knights have those people that come out, or oh, any, NHL okay, teams yeah. have those people that come out on the ice during intermission and they shovel all the fucking shaved ice, you know. And I just laugh because I was like, I guess that's as far as you can go after your college h- hockey cheerleader career that's you know it. shoveling snow in the <laughs> nhl <laughs> yeah. well it's been a good and they, run they try to do it they all try to do it gracefully and shit like that it's like just shovel the fucking just, snow just clean ice yeah <laughs> they have flowy yeah. skirts yeah and you know what i bet like in minnesota or it'd be cool if instead of all these fancy uniforms they just wore like one piece snowmobile suits with big winter hats or something you know i don't know anyways i miss hockey it's coming back though, yeah. I, th- I yeah. I've uh, thought so, it was. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but it's weird. I don't understand how they're gonna finish the season. Mm-hmm. It's something about a um. It's it's weird. Yeah, but hopefully the world will get back to normal. It's um, slowly getting back to normal. Yeah, lockers still aren't open at LBC. Joe Rogan's playing in jo- Vegas. Mm-hmm. We're going to see Joe Rogan. For my nice. birthday. July 10th. Have you been today. downtown at all lately? I haven't been downtown I... since it's been shut down. Dude, Not we went once. There, we went the other day. We took the kids just to go walk around, and they, Bellagio's got the flower display. and On Vegas. the inside? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we went there. Dude, Vegas is the shit right now. There's no That's... crowds anywhere. That's nice. Like, you can just go and see all the stuff. There's no lines. It's His Everything's mom... open. And sister like biked down there. Yeah. Like took their bikes and just were like no issues. Not yeah. a lot of people. Like, I don't know. Like it's awesome. People watching is at There's least still people at to least watch. half the entertainment <laughs> for me. Remember when we went and saw I forget what show we saw, but we stood up on that balcony smoking weed, staring at those people dressed up in the kiss costumes on Fremont Street. You oh, remember? is that the same dude we saw? 
the done? guy with no pants on? I don't. Yeah, they were all wearing kiss? thongs and yes. stuff. Yeah, and then they just started like more of yeah, their more of their Fremont. band started trickling in. It's really cool. So if you guys don't know, on Fremont Street, there's like little circles on the ground, yeah. and they must pay rent. They have but to. people wear costumes, and then passers by take pictures with these people and they expect a tip and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. But there was, yeah. Um, um, big week for me, big week for us. We, what did we do? Released food. My food loss of We did. That's the topic of today's Ooh. show is we're talking about food. Ooh. Um, uh, if you haven't seen or heard, I slash we released, a uh, 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 something called my food philosophy, and so if it's uh, in my six years of helping people with health and fitness, I've never really put anything out that addresses nutrition. No, because uh, you know, um, kind of gr- glaze over the topic or, or just kind of touch yeah, on it, but I know, not in depth. Yeah, you know, and and so this is, and well, like there's reasons for that. Um, what what like what what we made? It's not a diet. It's not a diet. And that's the thing. Like people, when it seems like when people ask for nutrition help, they want me or someone to give them a diet. And I don't believe in that because I, I, it's like, it's like, well, okay. Like just, just so I'm clear, how incompetent are you? Do I need to tell you how much air to breathe, how much water to drink? And Where are we at food? on the scale? Yeah. Just, but like, and that's, that's, that's mean. Yep. And that's not like my end <laughs> but like, am I, I just, I don't know. And I, I like diets are weird and, and me giving, and, and the thing is, is like, I've been given diets in the past. That's how in high school, I remember there was, um, oh man, it was like a c- computer software. I had a personal trainer in high school, um, okay. help and, and he would give me a diet. And I remember it was like, he would go through this computer program and it would tell me exactly what to eat. So it was like six ounces of chicken. But back, but I was new and not privy back then. So I was eating like lunch meat. Oh, okay. You know how, like, you know how thick yeah. six ounces of chicken lunch meat is a lot of between two. Yeah. So I was just like eating all this weird, dumb shit. And it's like, you know, like a, a six ounces of chicken with a half cup of cottage cheese at 10 a.m. And at 1 p.m. it's this. And then at 4 p.m. it's this. And then at 7 p.m. it's this. And guess what? At 7 p.m. you're done. Or like just diets, in my experience, like diets, like a, a laid out diet doesn't work. And so I didn't want to do that to people. Right. And, and um, you know, obviously, you know, a lot of people ask me my take on intermittent fasting, yep. keto, yep. the carnivore diet, yep. and yada, yada, yada. You listen, Stacy listens to a lot of Joe Rogan. He's a mm-hmm. proponent of the carnivore diet, right? He is. He's tried multiple different uh, diets, and he he liked the carnivore diet. Yeah. And we know a few other people who have been on the carnivore diet as well who seem to perform well. But again, I think it goes back to what you said, like it's personally it's just different for everyone so it's hard to put every single person every client if you will on the same exact diet yeah like that's just not a thing you know like so that's you know too many variables i remember joe rogan initially he was like this is fucking when he was doing the carnivore diet he was like this is awful i have fucking diarrhea but then at his 30 day update he was like you know what i feel fucking great and you know what's weird i don't like the keto diet you know who i'm pretty sure is keto who jocko oh really yeah I think it works well for some people. And like, you know, it helps. It so, depends. so the thing yeah. is, is like bodies can adapt. Yep. Yeah. Bodies can adapt. I, I did a, an experiment, a personal experiment. I was a vegetarian for like two months. How'd you feel? I, and so you were, yeah. Back in like 2009, I just, I just sort of saw if I could do it. Yeah. And what it was, I was eating a lot of soup <laughs> and soups and salads. A lot of vegetable yeah. soup. I was on that uh, Perkins retirement menu, you know, <laughs> like the 55 plus menu soup and sandwich, or you get half a sandwich yeah, it's and like, a bowl what of are your soup teeth for if you're right, eating yeah. soup. But you know what? It's like, I did feel, I felt light on my toes, but that's because I didn't have any food in me, but your, your body adapts and you get used to it. Like anybody can do anything. Right. My thing is if it's, it's not necessary, then why? Like, so say, say, you know, 30 days into the carnivore diet, you're adjusting and you feel well and you're in a rhythm and your, and your body has adjusted, but there's nothing wrong with a potato and a banana. 
So why get rid of them? It's, if it's not necessary, why do it is kind of my um, position on, on, on that kind of stuff. And, and that's, so that's kind of what this like food philosophy is. If you got, it's, um, it's on DerekWhite.com. It's called my food philosophy. It's, it's not a diet. Um, and maybe Stacy, you can kind of help me explain what it is. It's my story. It's your history with it's, food. It's my history of food. It's yeah. like what I've done in the, like how I started to learn about food what I did for a long time and what I do now and why it works for me with a couple lessons in there. It's like, how do I approach, um, you know, like my alcohol intake, how do I approach goal setting and planning and all this stuff? So it's not a diet. Mm -hmm. And then actually it's sort of, so what, what in truth, what we put out is called my food philosophy part one, um, uh, a starting place. And so it's, I think it's going to be a three part series, but, but the first one here, it's all about, it's, it's, it's changing your mindset and sort of about food and you and how you treat yourself. Right. And do you think that's kind of an, how would you describe? So Stacy helped me edit this. I mean, we've been working on it for like two months now or something like that. And playing with the idea for, for a long long time. Yeah. So I've always wanted to help people with nutrition. It's just like, how? Yep. If I don't believe in giving people a diet, how do I help them yeah. with their nutrition? And I have answered questions yep. on live videos or in posts yep. or on this podcast here. But this is like a no shit sit down. Here's what I here's what I do. That's yep. what it is. Here's what I do in my personal life. And this is why. And this is why um, things didn't work out for me before. And so it's like, but it's also how you can go from eating one way for powerlifting, yeah, immediately mm-hmm. shift to a new yeah. fitness goal and drop what fifteen pounds, like yeah. So that's what. So it's um, you know, it's it's kind of you know, somebody asked me, I thought it was funny. Somebody asked me, or as a comment or a message, and they said, how you know, how can you gain forty pounds, then lose forty pounds, then gain twenty pounds, then lose twenty pounds, and I can't even in the same time period, I can't lose these 15 pounds, right? It's like, Oh, here, I'll show you. Like, here's, here's what I do. And right. then you just saw so it's a blueprint. It's there's, there's a few rules to live by and you figure out the details. So kind of, yeah, I, I think that's kind of a, I don't know how you say like a misnomer or something. How do you say that? I, it seems like you're making it sound easy. So you say here, I'll show you, but it's not, the, the book isn't so easy as that, I guess. Yeah. Like, it's not, I'll show you how to set up your diet, measure six ounces of chicken, like you just said. It is learning about yourself. So in that sense, I really felt like it was a self-help book, but not a traditional self-help book. Like, and those certainly are not boring. a traditional it's not diet yeah. book. It's not 15 yeah. steps to get in your weight no. under control. Yeah, it's, like a 12-step program right. to realizing who you are. It was, in Derek's words, which I had to edit heavily, <laughs> but I tried not to She was to getting frustrated. She's like, you have out. so many ellipses and colons. Why did you punctuate yeah. this, like, this because, way? Oh because God. I command the way I am heard. I punctuate how I want. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to edit Derek Wida. (laughs) In life and on paper. In life. That's why I was like, this is a great analogy. I (laughs) I feel like I'm the editor of his whole life, not just, not just his book. But anyway, yeah, I felt like it was a self, like a cool self-help book. Like it, you discover your personal relationship with food. And then also Derek just talks about his story. And so you can sort of live through him and also not make the same mistakes that he made. That's kind of the whole point. Or become aware that you are making those mistakes. Cause uh, you know, that's what, so it's like, how do I help people with their nutrition? It's like introspection. How do I get them? It's or, ownership too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, There's like, take like, responsibility. Yeah. You made these mistakes. Move on. Like, that's one of the, I, I did, I did some more edits last night. Just oh really God. simple shit. But Great. in one of the, now I have to go totally different. No, in one of, yeah. <laughs> You'd hardly yeah. recognize. We deleted uh, a bunch yeah. the other day. Yeah. Like, Stacy took uh, out all my dick jokes yeah. and I, <laughs> I had to put three back in there, Good. you know? No, but it was, I, I changed, I changed, it's a, it, like, there was a part, it's like, you know, when I talked about, um, uh, not being upset about not getting an education from my parents, but it's uh, like I said, like I, I'm an adult now. I'm in control now. Right. I change it to I'm responsible now because it's not like we're never in control. Right. Right. But it's like I'm responsible now. True. I'm I'm responsible for my own life, like my upbringing, 
from zero to 18, we get what we can. Yep. You know, and that shapes us. Mm-hmm. It, it's, it, it lays the blueprint. And so Stacy and I are very careful with the boys right now because they're like, we're in, and you're definitely in the hot seat. Oh, yeah. Because you have from ages like two to seven to get that. Yeah. Like how that. They say yeah. like zero to four is the yeah. prime. Yeah. So, I, yeah, like, yeah. I, you know, like two is zero, but I, like two to four, two to five. Yeah. And yeah. like, that's when, you know, you, your, your foundation is laid as a person is like how you see yourself your inner and voice. how you see the world, yeah. you know, totally. so and your discipline. Yep. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so we get what we can from zero to 18 and like our parents can really fucking set us up for success or they can drop the ball a little bit. Um, but, he, but like my parents were certainly neutral. They didn't, they, they weren't, they weren't me. They loved us. Of course. And they took care of us. Right. They just, it was weird. Like back, they were busy, man. When you're, when you're broke. Um, How old were they when they had you? Yeah. Like 20, 22. So, <laughs> so they, think of yourself yeah. at 22. For like, sure. You, you always that. look yeah. at your parents as All like the time. these, these For older sure. people. But yeah. when you look back at your life, you're like, holy shit, they were 22 years no, old when. No. There's no way I could I'm have always, had a kid. I'm always no conscious way. of that. Yeah. yeah. I was 32 yeah. when I had the boys. Right. 32. I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. So I was talking to, I was talking to a woman at CrossFit Apollo there and she said. Where? Yeah, at the uh, at the at the Apollo there. There, there. Yeah. Over, yeah. Oh, over, over there. Over there. Okay. Where, over there. Well, it's there. It ain't here. <laughs> it's there. Yeah, you were there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, she had a kid when she was twenty three, and she had a kid when she was thirty two or something. And she was saying, she's like, man, I just you know, like I'm so much more patient now with my kid. I'm like, yeah, totally. Yeah, like I would have been a fucking ho- if if I had a kid at twenty three. Oh my god. Definitely m- might see him once a year. You know, like I just wouldn't on have, visitation I just, day. I just yeah, wouldn't exactly what I he's just, referring to. I just wouldn't have been around. T B H. You know, so yeah. Um uh but you get what you can. And then at and at, at, at eighteen, like yeah, you start changing, you start growing, and you're responsible. And so it's like like you said, it's like personal responsibility. Here's my thing. I don't and I asked you so Owen Owen is um big Owen has helped edit this as well. Mm-hmm. And he's big. First, and, yeah. And, yeah. And he's, he's big on like, are there actionable steps yep. included a person can take to where they can get the help they're looking for when they purchase this and read this. Right. Um, and, and the thing is, is it's kind of, it's not, it's not that it's blurry, but it's not like step one, do this step two, do this step three, do this because, and I told you, I was like, Owen, do you know the difference between, uh, McDonald's chicken nuggets and a chicken breast from the grocery store. I do. So does everybody else. Mm-hmm. But so why are they eating McDonald's chicken nuggets? Right. You know, it's like, no, why are you eating McDonald's chicken nuggets? I, because they're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and because they're okay, fast so, so, and cheap. So they, it's so they, the fast part. So they, yeah. so they, exactly. so they taste good now. Right. And then how do they feel an hour later? Oh, not as, not great. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> yeah, no, so I get that. I, that was a, you know, so like, th- so like that's what my food philosophy is. It's these like little one liner or it's these little things that I always remind myself. It's like, Hey, they're you know, nuggets. Some, yeah, nuggets. nuggets of yeah, knowledge. nugs. Stacy's <laughs> Stacy's nugs. I yeah, like nugs. Nugs. Owen and Stacey's I are the about same. that nug life. So it's like, so it's like, oh, you know, it's like, oh, eating cake makes me happy. I'm like, it does does it? Does it? Yeah, it I mean, does. For how yeah. long? If you no, no. If so, <laughs> let's say you eat cake every day for a year. Okay, I don't. And you gain cake ten pounds, day. but 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 um, but like, does it make you if if so? Like that's just it's just an example. Like eating eating good tasting things all the time for I, taste can make you. But if they're not also giving you, uh, or if they're not benefiting your health and fitness. It's not going to be something that makes you happy. So like me, like I make, I make skillets every day. Those make me happy to eat, yeah. but they also help me in my health and fitness. So like I'm happy, happy, yep. whereas you're happy for a little bit, then sad later, I'm happy, happy. Yeah. It's a cost <laughs> benefit analysis that we do. I mm-hmm. think like that's what I do. And so I'm like, I need cake today. I love cake right. and I, I don't eat cake every day right. because I know that it's too costly. It yeah. just is for me personally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I make concessions too. Like, like I definitely don't eat cake every single day, mm-hmm. but I do like pastries and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. And and if I haven't Snacks. had them for a long time, I'm also like, hey, it's not that big a deal for me to have one. Yeah, yeah. right. Your body gets used yeah, to it. I'm fine. Yeah. I'll just. I'm, yeah, but it's um, uh, but if I only eat that stuff, then I definitely feel it. 
Yeah. Yeah, or you just don't feel as good. Don't feel as good. Depending on what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, so I know, like, if I'm going to be training, like, you probably shouldn't be drinking a wine every night and then having a cake to follow that. I've totally been paying attention to, like, the, like, the actual things I'm consuming because now that I'm I'm running more and trying to do it more consistently, I can feel if I put the wrong gas in the tank the night before and I wake up, like, man, getting started is a whole lot harder. Yeah. 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 Maybe I'm just walking today. Yeah, sometimes it's worth it to me to have wine at night. And then sometimes I know when it's not worth it. Yep. Like, yeah. So it's a, it's a lot of things to help get people in the like so part 1 of my food philosophy is all about getting people's mindset ready. And then part 2, I've decided it's going to be called winners eat. And that's going to be a lot more actual food specific. Like recipe type specific. I, I might share some recipes. I, I actually great. think yeah. Mhm. Um but um uh, it'll be a lot more, but like this, like first we got to get the mind right. We mm-hmm. got to get the mindset right. And that's like, so it's like a, my food. I like, <laughs> I like it. It's called my food philosophy because it's really like how I developed my, what my, what my approach to food is today. You're, you're going to hear how I got here. Yep. And, and, and that's, and that's what it is. And it's available now. And so we're, I'm finally, I just, I, and I'm feeling good about how we're moving forward. It's like, you yeah. know, like real ways to help people with their health and fitness not just sitting here shooting the shit and stuff like that i don't just sell supplements on the internet like right. we have training programs now we're handling food yep and so it's in it's so it's we're, like we're, the missing piece i we're, feel we're coming oh definitely with but the, i, but I didn't questions. know how to do it it's yeah. like if i don't want to give people a diet and what do i do and it's very time consuming when right. I, and i want to if so i'm gonna, when we talk about time here that's what i also like about it is it's not this like chapter book you know that you would pick up at Barnes and Noble or whatever. It's self-help, th- those things are 80,000 pages long. So this is also like quick, concise, and also still a philosophy. Yep. So it's not too much information that is overwhelming because a lot of things can be overwhelming. That's and another Derek reason. And stepped it through. Yeah. yeah, that's another reason we decided to do a three-part instead of just keep cranking things out. And it's right. like, we, I, I, well, I like the flow of this one. And like, so yeah. yeah, it's like 13 pages on the computer, whatever that means, you know? Yep. It's about 8,000 words. Yep. And, but they're all hard hitting, mm-hmm. I Impactful. think. And, 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 and I, and I was, and Owen and I were talking, I was like, maybe I should add more, but I was like, man, if I, th- I think if I add more, there's going to be too much yeah. to learn. Like there's, there's a, Edit. there's a ton of shit going on. In my food philosophy, part one, a starting place. There's I'm a, always t- telling a you ton to of shit going on. Leave it yeah. alone. Yeah, leave it simple. So, yeah. so yeah, we're not. Um, yeah, so that's available. DerekWhited.com. and I just feel good because, like, I like when and I in like the trifecta of fitness, where we almost have a full product. Yep. For somebody who wants our help, it's like you want help with nutrition, you want help with training, you want help with supplements. We got you. We got you. DerekWhited.com. Almost there. Yeah. Yeah, man. Mm. We got the audio. We have an audio version of that. Mm. Ooh, mm-hmm. yeah. yes. For people who, That's right. For people who like to not read, read. Yeah, yeah. But like Hear to Derek's still. Voice. Yeah, yeah. You can get it on like a uh, printable. Yep. Um, it's a you know. You or Derek digital. will read it to you. Digital download, or I will read it to you. Yeah. Either one. DerekWhited.com. Check it out if you need help with food. If you're or like it's it's it, if 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 you if you got a hundred pounds to lose, if you just want to tighten shit up, if you want to get a little bit better at life, health, fitness, yeah, it's right there. I'm happy with it, man. I yeah, feel, I'm I excited. Feel, I feel this, really good. This about was a it. this yeah. was a long time coming project that mm-hmm. we started talking about months ago, and the yeah. last month of it actually coming together has been been really cool. Yeah, it was actually um I was when I finally decided to do it. Um, it took me like three weeks to start mm-hmm. and it was a conversation I was at like, I, and Stacy and I were in the car and I was like, I don't know what to say because like, I want to say this, this and this, but I don't know how to say it. And Stacy was like, I don't remember what I said. Oh yeah. Stacy's got, <laughs> Stacy's got a very poor memory <laughs> yeah. except when you're in an argument. Well, obviously then Stacy never forgets. That's any female. <laughs> It just Remember <laughs> that one time you said, be like, no, honestly, Stacey, I tell Stacey, Stacey, yeah. Stacey June 3rd, never forgets. Yeah. 2017. Where yeah. were we? You were yeah. wearing a red shirt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, dang. That yeah. comes with the vagina. Yeah. It just does. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. But I, I know I said something like, you know, just write things down. Just start somewhere. Don't worry about editing. Yeah, just outline the, it. The one time I've told Derek, don't worry about editing. 
just just write it down. All your thoughts, whatever you want. So you Brainstorm. did, right? Start, just started pooping it And then it, it out. started, yeah, yeah diarrhea. Yeah. So that's it. We're on the right path there, helping people with their food. And uh, what, what, I, what I really kept in mind the whole time writing it was like, it's certainly written for the person that needs the most help. Like right. it'll, it'll, it'll benefit everybody, but I kept the person in mind who just like, it's like begging to change their life, but they, they haven't done it yet, you know? So yeah, it's cool. I'm proud of it. I'm certainly proud and I appreciate all the help from everybody in here. It was fun. Takes a village. Takes a village. I, I, I don't know if we should say that anymore because you know who said that? Who? Oh. Hillary Clinton. Uh, I don't think that, she that was, that was No, but that, that, but that was her thing. Her. But she really leaned on that. Was it, it become like her mantra or something? Yeah, it takes remember. a village. Like she it was couldn't like, do anything herself? I don't know. Oh, sorry. I don't know. Like, <laughs> no, that's fine. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm. So, Owen. Yes. Tell us about your running. Owen's been running. Owen, I, Owen's, have, I have Owen's. followed your running journey <coughs> have you? a bit. Yeah. Have you? Oh, really? I, well, just because he posts on Instagram yeah. and we're yeah. friends on well, Instagram. Well, actually, uh, your Talia's killing it. Yeah. yeah. Dude. Like, she posted a left-right photo yesterday, and she's like... You know what she's doing? Walking. She's doing the Ass Blaster 1000. Nuh-uh. Really? Yeah. Are you, en- Derek, also are you enjoying that? Yeah, Derek's like, blasting Talia's ass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, right. I'm blasting. Yeah. Just bla- blast Derek White. Okay. Blasting asses. Blasting asses. Hey. Yeah, she uh she's she's been walking like walking every day, just increased uh For how long? activity. She's hasn't it been like two, three months or yeah, something? Yeah, it's been about that. Yeah. Uh like COVID COVID lockdown ish oh, yes, time yes, frame. Yes. She and I both started kinda yeah. up in the ante for different reasons. She just wanted to get her fitness back and, and I was dealing with like just anxiety of feeling like I was on house arrest. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, she uh she's killing it. She's she's down ten or fifteen pounds, something like that and Got more to go, but she's uh, she just got we got our first form delivery yesterday, so she's doing Ooh. like vegan the vegan protein. That That's they have. I was oh, just yeah. gonna say that I did see something I yeah. didn't fully. What 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 what's why why is why so is she, she vegan? She lost a bunch of weight um before we started having kids doing um a raw diet, and we lived in Seattle at the time, so there were lots of of. Uh, uh, available Chazzes. restaurants. Yeah, there's just like a lot of different places <laughs> yeah. to be able to go get food because right. it's, it's Raw food. yeah, fancy restaurant town. And so that worked, but then that became hard to like keep up with. And then with kids, that you're constantly planning like a completely separate meal, then yeah. then yeah, it just wasn't sustainable. And so she tried a couple different diets, just like what you've always talked about. And you know, like diet. everyone does. Yeah and, yeah. and none of them actually worked for her. And she, she dialed herself back to, I don't know exactly what she does, um, but it's it's m- kind of mostly vegan. Like yeah, it's I heavy on vegetables, a lot of potatoes. Like we Does eat. she turn down steak always? Um, or She was never like a really big, I mean, she ate meat, yeah. and but but it wasn't like a high priority of, sure, I yeah. love this, it's my favorite kind of food. Sure. So it was easy for her to just not do. But yeah, yeah basically, basically vegan, vegetarian. Yeah. Um. And so when she started, but she got a protein powder now because like she yeah. like that she got to get the protein because yeah. like women are women typically are really bad at getting their protein yep. in. And that's where she was noticing. She's just like you know I can't without increasing my not, my you're calories. Not build muscle. How am I gonna get? Yeah. Where do I get this protein from? So first yeah. one actually has is one of the few companies mm-hmm. with a vegan protein powder. How does she yeah, like that I taste? Th- she loves it. I really? think people that are good. sensitive to whey are also yeah. leaning that way. So yeah, the way, it's like a pea protein or something th- like that. I right? think so. Yeah. And the whey has like more calories. So if you're trying to stay under a that certain amount sense. of calories, the whey has more. And, and this is the way. Yeah. That's the way. This is the way. This is the way. So <laughs> this is not, this is, I, this I is was way. I was just listening to I'm s i am I heard the word calories. Uh another podcast because that's what I do these what days. What podcast? So well, you know I like Dr. Rhonda Patrick. So she's the Found My Fitness podcast. Okay. Um, she's on Joe Rogan quite a bit and I love Oh, she her. has her own podcast. Yes, and her own Stacy tells me stories about this woman all the time. I'm like, that's, I love fuck, her. that's pretty smart. Yeah. So she also, well, side note too, I wanted to do like a blood test. So I wonder if she's like sensitive to certain things. Cause anyway, Dr. Rhonda Patrick does this, you can do blood tests and then you'll see like what your blood type is. And maybe if you're, you know, insensitive to certain things. Oh, but interesting. 
yeah. Anyway, so this this podcast particularly was Stacy's insensitive towards my feelings sometimes. Yes, to, uh, 2016. <laughs> uh, so this was an old podcast, and they talked about time released or wait time something time restricted feeding is what it was called. Okay, so, so kind of like intermittent fasting. So I thought, oh, it's kind of like intermittent fasting, but I listened to the whole thing. She had a guest on, and it was. So during intermittent fasting, which is why this trigger triggered me, is they restrict your calories as well. Okay. But in time restricted feeding, they don't. So it's literally a window where yeah. you can eat Raw. anything. Right, until yeah. you're full. Yeah. And uh. it has been replicated multiple times. Whatever you eat, and these people are losing weight. But not only are they losing weight, but they eventually start making better choices. And I'm guessing it's because they realize I don't feel good during these windows when I'm eating these certain things. And then they eventually start making smarter choices. And so anyway, I I'm just curious to like my cousins doing intermittent fasting and all that stuff. So I'm wondering if maybe she's using the wrong words, but, um, it's an interesting concept. It's see like, like intermittent fasting. It's just like, fuck man. Like, uh, the, the, my problem is, is like intermittent fasting, keto, these diets, they have, they've got to have a 90 some odd percent long-term failure rate because people like, if, if you want to dabble with a diet to see how you feel with doing certain something that like, that's totally different from being overwhelmed about being fat, not knowing what to do and get and cutting just one day being like, all right, I'm going to do a thousand calories a day between four and 7 p.m. and that's how i'm going to lose this weight yeah it's not healthy it's not sustainable and so like so it's so that's why i was i heard the word calories and i immediately thought of what i had been listening to is that's the difference during intermittent fasting you are still restricting your calories and also in a window so not only are you restricted for time oh my god i have eight eight hours to eat but now you also have oh my god i only have a certain number of calories to take in and it's so stressful it's not sustainable but now with time restriction feeding now it's just like hey i have an eight to 12 hour window to eat which is normal yeah. and you have you can eat any amount of calories and so out- outside of the window you can have zero calories zero just water ex- just water so he yeah. says that it, you're as soon as you wake up if you drink coffee um it's her guest i forget what his name is it's another doctor who does research as soon as you wake up in the morning, as soon as you have something that's non-water, that's when your window starts. So they, they have found that at the nine hour mark, if you do nine hours specifically, you have an increased endurance as well. So, but uh, I'm not sure the science behind that, but yeah, it just doesn't make sense to me that. So like, say people do something like that and they lose fat, like it doesn't make sense to me that they would be able to perform well. So, I'm sure performing is different because that's not, yeah. that's and, that, not and that's, 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 that's a, that's a, yeah. it's a huge point in my philosophy that I try to drive home. It's okay, like, so there. give a fuck about your performance, yeah. right. man. Like stop worrying about so much what you look like, yeah. but like if really put an emphasis on, uh, on, on performance based goals. But and that, I kind of tell my evolution of that. That goes to what Owen was saying too, is like, I don't want to be a power lifter. I don't even want to be an RX CrossFit functional sure. fitness athlete. So I need to figure out what works for me. I want to be a mom like who can move progression. with my kids. Yeah, but you always want to, but like, so your workouts, you want to get better, yeah, but not, you course. don't want to get to a level 10, but you'll be like, but say just, this is made up, say you're at a level three right now, you'd be happy at like a six or seven. And maybe you'd be, you know, like working towards there for, you know, three or four years or something like that. Like long term, it's a slower progression. That's how but I'm, you always want to move forward. Yeah, that's how and I'm so, looking at yeah. my running mm-hmm. is like that. Yeah. Like I don't, I'm not trying to win races, but yeah. like I'd like to com- complete a race. Yeah, like, you know, and moving towards doing that in a not so super. When are you going to try your first three mile? You are, you could probably do it coming up next week. Yeah, I think I think you I'm gonna just add like f- check in the forecast and find a nice windy day and run. Right yeah. <laughs> with, with the wind yeah. downhill. Yeah. yeah. Why did you choose the summer to do <laughs> <Yeah>. this? <laughs> <laughs> Las Vegas. It's not so too bad in the mornings. No, no. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm up at like five, morning. five, five thirty, and and I try and get out there and do it. Declan's picked up running too, so we got him some. He got running shoes, and I love Declan. And so he <laughs> he waits for me, and I'll go do my run. How old is he? He's six. Six. Yeah, and he'll I'll pick him up at the house, and we'll do our cool down lap, and he comes and Aww. we do little interval <laughs> interval sprints around the around the neighborhood. Super cute. Pretty fun. 
Yeah. Those kids, they watch everything. They totally do. Like, yeah. I fucking like blew my knee out two days ago. Okay, well, did you or I don't know. I did That'd something. Be bad. I did yeah. something. But I, but it's like the kids. Oh, kids are so great. Kids are so I was picking up a goddamn plastic hot dog <laughs> bun on the floor and I bend over and my knees like pop slid yep, sideways. Fucking huge pop. And I just like oh yeah, his I grabbed the only couch. Human knee. And I was like, What the fuck what just happened? happened? And Stacy's in the kitchen cooking. She's looking at me and I'm trying to like just like take a breath. I'm holding on to the couch. <laughs> and Stacy's like, Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? I was like, Let's, 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 let's stay calm. Yeah. Right? But I was like, I'm just going to go, panic yet. I'm just yeah. going to go mosey on over to the, uh, and it's, it's, so this was two days ago. It's so Wasn't weird. Wasn't it two days ago that you also fell during your workout and I had to like stop and get off the rower yeah. and see if you were dying? Yeah. I tripped. Like, I was hopping and I tripped on the skier. And like what, 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 dude, what hurt the most <laughs> is like sometimes, God damn it. When I'm, when I'm in the shower. So this is what ha- like, sometimes my stump cramps. Cause okay. you know, when you're falling, you oh, lock yeah. up. Yep. And so when I squeeze my stump super hard, those muscles aren't used to contracting. Right. And so like, and so like sometimes when I slip in the shower, it's just like a little quick slip and I'm yep. good. But my stump was like, ah, motherfucker. Yeah, so I tripped on the goddamn skier gear day and I fell down, <laughs> but I sat there in pain for like 30 seconds. Cause my stump was cramped. I and thought Stacey's he was like, dying. are you okay? Are you okay? I was like, nah, it's just this stupid stomp, this man. God dang it's just this stupid stomp. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I was glad to get off the rower. You know, to do, yeah. to do medical <laughs> stuff. <laughs> to help. Stacey's like, darn. Yeah. Right. Are you okay? Do you want me to go inside in the air conditioning <laughs> and grab <laughs> your water? Like some water. <laughs> like, no, my, yeah, my water's right there. I'm good. They're like, are you sure? Do you need fresh water? Else? Are you sure? Do you need fresher yeah. water? Ice. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Man, that's funny. Um, I, uh, I, and I, but I asked, uh, <sighs> jealous of you when you're running. You know, I'm, I'm actually, I'm um, running. I, I, yeah. Mm-hmm. You eat before you run? No, I, I eat a big meal. So like last night I did, uh, we had a pot roast going. You eat before bed and, and that's, so you work out first thing in the morning. Yeah. And your workout is, is mostly just running right just now. Just running. Right? Yeah. And then I'm doing like, I'm doing some wide away stuff so for you, like chest. And, yeah. You're curling like yeah. $180, 25 pound bumper plates, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Premium. Yeah. <laughs> Premium. They're made of gold. Owen, oh, yeah. yeah. Owen, Owen bought uh, COVID-19 rate. Uh, weights, dude, it's and I was so ridiculous. Hap- I was so yeah. happy to pay only two dollars a pound for yeah. those things mm-hmm. plus shipping. Yeah, like because other insane. people were oh fucking eight dollars a pound for yeah. fifteen pound bumper That's plates. Insane. So uh, for a while, I had ten pound bumper plates with like chains that I used to tie my tractor down onto a trailer with, and I'd wrap those around the bar. I don't even know how much those weigh, but it was just the heaviest shit I had in my garage, Whatever. and that was my little yeah. prison setup and workout. You know what? You were thinking out of the box. Was. I was like, how can I yeah. make this heavier? Because 100 reps I really, of 15 oh, pounds shoot. is you, you didn't hear uh, Ryan's thinking out of the box story last week, did oh, you? Dear. I can only imagine. Yeah, so Ryan was... Uh, so sta- you, you might like this. Sta- uh, Ryan was in the Air Force. Or you were in the Air Force, so you might like this. So Ryan was flying. It was it was like when he was... Ryan was flying. R- Ryan was flying. Ryan, Ryan. Yeah. Ryan. yeah. Uh, Ryan was flying while I was smoking his meat. <laughs> and um, <laughs> yeah, um, but they were so there. He was, um, it was early on in his training, you know. And on the radar, he saw that he was moving towards the fucking person he was trying to kill bogey. that day, you know. Intercept, yeah. So okay. on radar, he was like, All right, this person's coming. Then he was getting confused. He's like, I can't see this motherfucker. Where is he, you know? Um, yeah, I'm talking with my hands. You might not be able to see because you're talking about camera. airplanes. Yeah. you have to, yeah. But so, so Ryan's idea, he's like, I should be able to visibly see this person, but he couldn't. So Ryan's idea was he was going to go up and, and do a look down. upside down. Oh, <laughs> he was inverted. <laughs> okay. So, and while he was flying upside down, this plane was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Ryan. <laughs> I am not surprised. Yeah. So You're Ryan's just waste. flying upside down <laughs> looking for this motherfucker. And it's like, <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> yeah. All right. Didn't work out the way you planned. That, yeah. Yeah, that, that would be something I would fucking do. Like, well, I bet, I bet you I could figure this out upside down. Dude, I love yeah. his jet stories. Yeah. I mean, he that was has a fun just podcast. insane yeah. stories in general. Yeah. Oh, man, he, he has, he's a funny uh, guy. I remember him telling one when we were in Idaho about him doing like uh, uh, cast missions through valleys in Af- Afghanistan. 
He's like, yeah, we we got within a hundred feet of the mountain. Oh yeah, the time he almost crashed his yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah like and he, did, he didn't even know if he was gonna make it or yeah, something. Yeah, he's like, like oh, that, I probably you know? fucked this up. Yeah, but, but made it. And oh I was like, god. oh my yeah. god, I cannot imagine. They're great stories. I, I he's told me some dating stories too <laughs> of what he's had his, his yeah. women Dude, he's like funny. he's he tests women. And I'm like, <laughs> I mean, I like it, but. It's also oh the, the the test he plays yeah when yeah. it's like an it's like test. a it's a, like yeah when when Ryan dates <laughs> those girls are in an interview process oh, yeah. that they are not aware of hey, they are one hundred percent not aware that oh age. it's like he's like he's like he didn't accidentally get a flat tire out in the woods no no, no that was he on got purpose. a he, he yep. fucking he, he purposely slashed, popped his tire slashed his tire to see how she would react in that situation right. And, uh, and she failed. It's a pass fail. Yeah, oh, yeah, she yeah. We, failed. Yeah. She failed hard. Yeah. She fucking failed yeah. miserably. Yeah. Oh, Ryan's man. like, I just want to know if she was on my team. Right. I was now like, because if she's not on my team, like, how can this work out? I was right. like, God Ryan, we're damn. giving away all your secrets. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, is he still single or? I'm not sure. I forget. I think, uh, he was I just he was just posting pictures with some uh, female. Okay. But he good. always is. But a girl passed yeah. the test. Mm-hmm. Woo. Well, no, she's being tested. Oh, like, yeah. she's she's in so, she's in Sears school right now. Right. <laughs> I just saw a duffel blog of uh, of a mom who went through Sears school and she got the best sleep of her life. And I was like, <laughs> that is that's gold. You mean we get four hours straight? Yeah, yeah. Uninterrupted. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Oh dear. Oh, uh, so food. Yeah, I think we. I just wanted to just wanted to share that. My food philosophy. It's available now. If you need help, DerekWhite.com. Actually, use code Saturday because that's yeah. That's, it's a digital I, product. Yeah, yeah, we'll use. We'll 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 give you guys, you listeners, twenty percent off. Yep. Using code Saturday on DerekWhite.com. Any training program. My food philosophy. Yep. Not shirts. Not shirts. There's no margin for. They're shirts. fifteen bucks. Yeah. Yeah, but um, you know, so yeah, we just, that was the today's show. I just wanted to say, hey, that's there. And uh, as a reminder, did you hear what our email is for people to email the show and ask questions? I have not heard it. I'm sorry. It's savage me at DerekWida.com. Because I like how it's a play on ravage me. <laughs> you know? And like, the show's called Savage, savage Saturday. Saturday. Savage me. You know, like when you have to explain things. Wait, I don't know if I, we actually had to explain. I mean, no, you we, did. Have to, we have to. Explain. We have to. You what, did. Well, have we have to, to explain. explain. <laughs> like, so if there's if there's a hundred people in a room, ninety nine people will get this, but Stacy will be like. You know, like any questions. Uh, and Stacy's the one motherfucker in the audience. I was like, question. do you think that is appropriate for the climate <laughs> no. right, right now? Listen, I don't <laughs> yeah. care about appropriateness. <laughs> yeah. It's just, why am I not? I'm just not culturally. She doesn't aware think these things are of, funny. I, I think it's hilarious. hilarious. I do too. <laughs> savage me. I have a me. different sense of humor. Stavi- savage me. Like, yeah. Savage me. Like, so if you have a question oh, about yeah. fitness or food, or just savage us. Whatever else. Yeah. Savage me. Savage Derek Wida.com. Savage me. Savage. Savage me at Derek Wida.com. Ask us your questions. It's about time that we take some questions from the internet and they can just savage me. You know, just, but <laughs> Stacy is not a fan. So we'll give, if you guys want to ask Stacy a question. Oh yeah. It's, um, you know, um, we got to, this is why I don't have a public Instagram anymore. <laughs> Why? Do you get lots of questions? Oh, yeah. I got lots of questions. Anyways. Well, I'm, good not good at it. No, I'm not good at answering questions. That's the so problem. Hey, Derek, how do I say go fuck yourself in a nice way that <laughs> no. won't ruin your public no, image? I know how to say that. <laughs> yeah. I had a couple, I had a couple like, people. Man, sometimes you just got to say go fuck yourself. Yeah. I mean, Especially you know, now. that's what's crazy these days is like it's not even what you do anymore. It's like what your associates yeah. do and who you are like mm-hmm. tied to. Yeah. And I don't want to ruin. there's a picture of you with someone that you met six years ago. Oh. I mean, I don't know if I could ever ruin your image, really. No, it's as like, bad as, like, yeah. no. I do that. I do a good job. Like, you can't, nobody can fuck my life up more nope. than me. You're in control. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm responsible now. You know? Yeah. That's true. You know? I like, this yeah. Shit. Mm-hmm. yeah. 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 <laughs> like, no, well, I tell you, you know, like, nobody hates me more than me. Nobody, you know. It's like, you know. But that's crazy because that ties back to the book like ownership Mm -hmm. it's your responsibility nobody else's 
That's it. That, and then when, so when Owen, when you were talking to me about like, are there actionable items mm-hmm. and things like that? I was like, I think there's way better shit in there than eat this, not this. Okay. You know? Yeah. 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 And I'm not For saying that to like part. argue with you. Like, you know, like I need part. that feedback pushback. And I, yeah. and I was like, honestly, I read it again last night and I was like, is this helpful? Yep. And I, and I was skeptical about that. I was super self-conscious and insecure. I was like, maybe it's not. And then by like three pages in, I was just like, this is awesome. Good. And my mom read it. My mom read, uh, we're talking about my food philosophy here yep. again. My mom said, this is the best thing I've ever read about food. And I wish I would have read something like this 30 yeah. years ago. Yeah. yeah. Because this would have fucking saved me yep. from a lot of dumb shit and years of being fat. Yep. Well, that's why I you say know? it's like a more of a self-help yeah. relationship with food. It's, yeah. I don't know. I just, I mm-hmm. really like that as the first step. I really think we need to put ownership back on yeah. you and right. especially today. When we, mm-hmm. when we brainstorm stuff, I like to push back even if I'm totally on your side, that's just good. because I like mm-hmm. to pe- make people kind of defend their position yeah. because when you, when you think it through in mm-hmm. a dialogue back and forth, exactly. you're like, no, this is actionable. There yeah. are stuff that you can take and which is the conclusion you came to, yeah. which was the whole point of me saying, right. Is are there actionable yeah. items yeah. that people can take from this and, and move forward on? Or just having a conversation. Like if I was confused at any point, I would just ask Derek, like, yep. tell me, explain to me in your own <laughs> words, not on <laughs> but paper. Before, uh, in the first draft, there was like sentences that were five. Oh my God lines long right. and it was just internal dialogue <laughs> and i was like stacy have you never read ulysses but like this is a this is an awesome way of writing but <laughs> we've edited it's coherent it's coherent it is it has derek's flavor still i didn't remove the derek from it at all but i sort of tried to make it easier to digest yeah, i'm happy with it but then the next parts i'm guessing you're referring to are like dialing it in more yeah. like well part two i'm super excited about and you said it's like building a relationship with food but first you have to build a relationship with yourself exactly so part two is going to be about like way more food specific and it's and it's going to be called winners eat yep yeah. winners eat i love that shit yeah. winners eat because that you'll read if you when you read my philosophy you learn how my relationship with food changed over the years and now it's like winners eat winners train winners eat yep yeah but you know you know time also matters too so like when you were 21 maybe you were eating way different things than you are now at almost 35 yeah so yeah i am almost 35 yeah that's weird i remember 35 although they did say this year's birthdays don't count oh yeah yeah because it's just like you know this year just doesn't count they've been saying a lot of stuff lately that's true (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that is true With only you know it's been a wild year yeah but i think that's gonna do it for this week on savage saturdays we just wanted to talk just wanted to share with you guys my food lo- we just wanted to shoot the shit yeah let you know my food philosophy is available now at derekwhited.com use code saturday to save 20 percent on my food philosophy and any training programs and let Derek know what you think about it and what you would like to see more of. And then maybe you can work towards that. Yeah. Part two and part three, two, a little bit more, like, yeah, yeah, a little bit of, feed. I got a good, I got a good, um, Gauge. in my head of where I want to go, but yeah, we're definitely going to be looking for feedback. Yep. Um, feedback's great. Mm-hmm, yeah. Not all the time. No, not all Sometimes the time. Sometimes there's like some really bad one star feedback where yeah. it's just like a dumb motherfucker bitching. It's like, I can't fix your lazy little fucking whiny attitude. Okay? Onus. Yeah. What's it? Onus. Onus. Owner, what, owner, onus. What does onus mean? Onus means take it upon yourself. Ownership. Mm. Take responsibility. Because mm-hmm. you just said like, you, I can't take care of your lazy <laughs> ass. No, I can't. I don't have time for that either. <laughs> no. Onus. Onus. Like Owen-ness. 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 I take care. I, I take responsibility. Is that where your name? Do you know where your name comes from? It's Owen? a Welsh name. Um, I'm Welsh. Yeah, it's a Welsh name <laughs> and it's a very old name. <laughs> Hi, when, Welsh. I'm Derek. <laughs> when, I, when I grew up, there were only old men who had it. And so I grew up, there was nobody who had like my name. name. And then when I was maybe almost thirty, I started noticing a lot of little kids with that name. No, was, like was there was like an like o, Owen was there an, no was there an OG name like where's where does Owen come from? It comes so, uh, well. Where is 
where's the Welsh language from? Is uh, it from okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what Wales, I mean. Derek, Wales, Derek, it, 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 like there's like you can trace back names. You know, like yeah. Derek, like like Derek is it comes from Theodoric, and it kind of it comes from like Theodoric the Great. So Derek means. Oh, like leader or ruler Mine type is, thing, you know? They kind of like, all yeah. mean that because I think Owen means yeah. of royalty or something yeah. according oh. to the name book that sure. I looked in. Like, yeah. and who knows if that's? <laughs> I mean, yeah. But they all kind of seem to like go back to royalty or owning, or, yeah. you know? Like, except for the names these days, like, <laughs> what's your name, like Ross? Virtue is that short for? <laughs> Ross, what do you mean? He's like, well, I don't know, mate, Rostifer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, friends. Derek and his friends. Aww. Yeah. I got to go train. We're going to call it a day. I got to go eat. I got to yeah. go look up camera gear. Yeah. Oh. We all got our things to do. <laughs> I'm going to go stare at Traegers and not buy one. Nice. Um, we'll catch you guys next week. As always, we love you. Have a nice day.